Boy story or girl story? Or girl story. Hmm. We can do either one. Boy, says Lance. Boy, yeah. I mean, the girl story is not that good. It's a little bit weird. Odieth, I came here to see you eat pie. All right, here, I'll take another bite for you, Odieth. Welcome to the stream, man. Just saying, but I'm Hyperzone Gamer. Haven't seen you for a while, Spaz Panda. Nice to see you again. Non-binary, you have girl stories? You know I do, Rich. I mean, I told you some girl stories. Toy Story. Boy. All right, let's do the boy story. This is a safe place. Okay. So, here's the thing. All right, here's the thing. When I was in my first year of university, engineering, electrical. No, first year was general. This might be my second year. I don't know. We had a group of friends. Kit, Danielle, Jordan, me, and can't remember who else. Um, but Danielle, Danielle, I can't say her last name. I probably shouldn't be using names. Danielle had a friend, and his name was Evan. Evan had red hair. By the way, I mean, my friends have titled this story unofficially The Red King. Um, so Evan had a friend, or Daniel had a friend named Evan. And Evan had fiery red hair, very pale skin. Looked pretty handsome, handsome guy. Uh, just to clarify, I'm, I'm not into guys. Um, but he was a handsome guy. And Evan seemed to take a special liking to me. Evan helped me with my homework. Evan gave me past lab reports. Evan, Evan was, a, was, a, was a chemical engineer. Okay. What race are you? I'm from Bangladesh, Villa Rose. Killer Beans, how you doing? Okay. Evan is not Jeff. No, uh, Jeff and Evan are different. Jeff's from high school. Um, so Evan helped me with a lot of stuff. Right? A lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> and you know, one day Evan's like, hey, you want, you want to hang out or something? I was like, sure, this guy's a nice guy, why not? We can hang out. He's like, what do you want to do? I was like, I don't know, we can go, I don't know, we can go to a movie or something. He's like, alright, let's go to a movie. How about we go to dinner before the movie? Or, all right, no, 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 we go to dinner after the movie. And I was like, all right, sure. Yeah, we'll go to dinner after the movie. I mean, I like dinner. Who doesn't like dinner? Let's eat, let's eat dinner together after the movie. So we went to the late night show of Crank 2. I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember that, that movie, Crank 2, with uh, Jason Statham and Amy Smart. Amy Smart's really pretty, by the way. And uh, I, I liked the movie. I was like, yeah, this is good. Oh, also, he bought me, he bought me my movie ticket. So we walked into the theater, and then he just went up, and he's like, buying his ticket, and he bought me one too. So I was like, oh, that's so nice, yeah. So um, we watched uh, Crank 2, and I was like, ah, oh, that's, that's fun. Like, I like it. I like the style. It's not a great movie, but it's, it's good. Goddamn exotic. What's up, Villa Rose? Thank you very much. Um, and he bought my ticket. And so we sat there, and we, we uh, watched the movie, and I was, after the movie, I was like, oh, that was, that was I, I liked that movie. That was great. And he's like, Nah, I didn't like it. I was like, you didn't like it? And he's like, nah, I didn't like it. I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> and then we went to Denny's. Across the parking lot, we went to Denny's. Remember, it's cold out here. It's winter everywhere, so it's cold. So we drove there. We went to Denny's. We sat down, um, and we ate. And he, he ordered, he ordered, uh, I don't remember what he ordered. Probably fucking something, something, something white. I don't know. I ordered an omelet because that's all I can eat at Denny's because I'm allergic to wheat and Pringles, apparently. Um, and we talked. We just talked about lots of stuff. And I'm a nice guy, so I'm just talking and talking, whatever. He wants to talk about this, I'll talk about this. He wants to talk about that, I'll talk about that. Sure, we'll talk about whatever. And he's telling me about Danielle and this and that and stuff, etc., etc., etc. 
Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's just a nice time. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. Good night. And he's like, yeah, okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I was like, yeah, sure. But you don't live? No, I live in Canada, Villa Rose. And, uh, and I went home. And he went home. And then later on, a few days, a few weeks, I don't know how much time passed, but we we went to... What's up, Kohi? How you doing, man? We... It was after midterms, and he was throwing a, par, a party. He was throwing a party at his house, and he invited us. He invited me, Kit, Danielle, everybody. Jeff, Greg, all, all our friends, right? And... Again, they did know him as the Red King at the time. Um, and I was like, all right, all right, we'll go. We'll go to the party. And of course, I'll drive because I didn't really want to drink at the time. There was no reason to. Um, but before we go down there, I get a call on the phone from him, right? And he's super fucking drunk. He is super fucking drunk. Uh, and I was just like, hey, hey, Evan, what's going on? And he's like, hey, man, hey, man. And he's like talking to me for a bit. He's like, you know... He's feeling a little bit like, oh, a little bit like, you know, not drowsy, but tipsy. What's up, Samantha? How you doing? And he's getting all talky and this and that. And then, like, this is the important part of the conversation. And then he says, hey, you ever do any gay stuff? And I was like, nope. <laughs> nope, I, I've never done any gay stuff. I, I, I'm, not, I'm okay with, with that, though. I don't, I don't really want to do any gay stuff. So let's just, you know, nope. And he's like, oh, yeah, me neither. I was like, are you sure? He's like, yep, nope. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> See you at the party in a bit. Um, <laughs> and uh, and uh, we got super, super, super lost. And uh, I told my friends, and they're like, yep. <laughs> he's the Red King. So we get to the party, and it's a pretty boring party. It's a pretty terrible party, to be honest. Um, we're all there. We're all sitting there. My friends are all drunk, just chilling. Um, and it gets time to leave. And it turns out I've fucking lost my wallet somewhere. I have no idea. They must have fallen out of my pants. At the time, I was wearing pretty tight jeans because, you know, I got a small booty. Got to wear them tight jeans to show it off. I mean, it's muscly. It's, it's defined, but it's, it's small. So, looks good, but... Not a lot of grabbing area, so tight jeans. Um, and then I'm looking for my wallet, looking for my wallet, and he's like, oh, you know, it's probably in my room. You want to go look at my room? I was like, I, I didn't go in your room. <laughs> he's like, oh, it's, you know, just come in there and look with me, right? Jesus, Villa Rose. So then I went into his room, and I'm searching, and he's not in there yet, right? He's... He's searching somewhere else or something. Um, and, and I'm searching. I can't find it. So I'm about to leave the room. And then he just kind of appears on the other side of the door. And I'm like, oh, it's not in here. He's like, oh, are you sure? Let's look again. So <laughs> we go back in. And I was like, all right, let's look again. Right? And so I go back in. I turn. I go back in. I go. I walk towards and the next thing I know, he had turned off the lights, he's behind me, and he pushes me onto the bed. And I'm like, what the fuck, right? And he's like about to like fall on top of me, and I roll away. And I'm like, nah, I don't, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, no, I don't, I don't want this. I don't want to, I don't want to be molested. I don't want to be sexed in a, in a, in a stranger's house by, by the gender I don't prefer, you know? <laughs> and then so I get up and he's like, oh, I was just kidding, man. I was just kidding. And I'm like, all right, sure. That's fine. You know, it's okay. And then I'm like, he's like, let's just keep looking, right? And I turn on the lights. And I'm like, okay, you know, I'm in your house. Fine. Let's keep looking. Um, and it happened again. I'm not fucking kidding. Turns off the lights again. Pushes me onto the bed, except not really, because I'm like expecting it now. I'm like, No. And then he tries to jump out of me. And I'm just like, no, what the fuck? No, 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 no. So then I get the fuck out of there. And one of my friends has my wallet. And, and he's like, oh, I'm just kidding. 
I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Right? <laughs> Mr. Sam Kim, how you doing, man? Streaming Mr. Sam Kim. He's like, I just kidding. I'm like, you know, it's fine. I understand. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're still cool. And he's like, are we still cool? I'm like, yeah, we're still cool. So then I leave, and then, <laughs> and then my friends all make fun of me, and then, um, and then he's kind of known as the Red King from that point on, the Red King. So whenever they, whenever my friends are talking to me, they'll be like, hey, hey come here, come here, Frost, come here, come here, and I'll be like, all right, what is it? And they'll get really close. And they'll like get really, really close. And they'll either look into my eyes or whisper in my ear. And they'll be like, you ever do any gay stuff? And I'll be like, what the fuck? Like, no, man, I've never done any fucking gay stuff. Like, I'm, I'm, it's fine. I don't, if you're, if you're gay, if you're like, man, that's completely fine. But nope, I've never done it. I don't want to do it. It's fine, right? And that happened for like a month straight. Until I met him again, right? And of course, he's given me assignments and stuff stuff like that shadow Liu kang how you doing man what's going on uh assignments and stuff and he's talking and all of a sudden he's just like hey i can't talk to you anymore i'm like why he's like um well <laughs> the girl i like thinks i'm gay and it's because of you and i was like what <laughs> because of me like what like I did this. I jumped on me in my in, in in my room in the dark. I did that, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." I mean, she she thinks I'm gay, so I can't associate with you anymore. And I'm just like, "Oh, my God!" And then I never talked to him again. <laughs> so that's my story. That's my story. That's my boy story tonight. You guys wanted a boy story? That's my boy story. All right. <laughs> 